you guys know what time it is? It's adventure time. Um, I haven't done one of these yet, but I've been wanting to do it for a while, and the weather is finally normal outside. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go on a little bit of an adventure, okay? I'm going to be taking my LCA Plus and my Lomo Aquapix because I want to give the Aquapix a really good chance with some really bright light. Hey guys, so if I lived in a more um, urban place, then I would show you more urban areas, but I don't. My college is in the middle of nowhere, so we don't have a lot. I'm in a graveyard. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take some pictures with my LCA. And this, this little guy, I've got my water bottle, my Lomo Aquapix. So thus far with this little camera, I've gotten some pictures of some pretty weird looking overgrown trees. There's like some tires and junk. That's kind of cool. Oh, look at this sign over here. No dumping. I would really like a picture of that. Okay, I gotta get this. That's pretty cool. So I just sat this down on a stump to get a picture, right? To use it as a sort of a tripod. And there was a spider that crawled out. So, one of the many benefits to shooting in rural areas. Getting muddy through here. I'm sorry that the filming kind of sucks because it's just me doing it. But I'm trying. I'm wearing flip-flops, so I hope there are no snakes. Tried to get an accomplice to come with me so that I could um so that I could have somebody film it for me. That didn't work out. I'm trying to find like all sorts of areas. That's a pretty cool one. Pretty cool looking shot. The cool thing about Lomography, you guys, is you don't have to know what you're shooting until after you've shot it. <laughs> and even then, you don't even have to know. It's just one of the most amazing, amazing ways of photography. Um, and this little guy, I'm hoping the results turn out pretty good. I'll show you those at the end of the video. Just thought it was an awesome day. I mean, look at the sky. It's really cool, really great for this little thing because it needs a lot of light. So now that I'm done shooting, I used an entire roll just now with the little Lomo Aquapix. I'm going to take some pictures with my LCA. I gotta find a place to sit down though because there are no benches, really. There's like gravestones that are benches, but I, I'm not here to just like play around with people's graves and things. That's not, not good guys. I'm just here because it's super quiet and there's some really awesome trees here and some really cool things like the signs and stuff that I showed you. Um, so I'm gonna go find a spot to sit down, I guess, in the dirt. Okay, so I've got my trusty little LCA ready for some pictures. Love this guy. It's a great camera. Um, and again, I'll show you the shots at the end of the video for that. I'm going to show you this. It's kind of sad. It's all of the remnants of the flowers and stuff that have been left over that people just threw in a pile. Really sad, though. So if you'd like some more videos like this, give some suggestions of types of photos, uh, types of tips, things that you'd like to hear. Uh, as always, you can add me at my Lomography home by clicking the link in the description. And you can keep up to date with every bit of my Lomography. And uh, I can keep up to date with you, too. I want you guys to see this really cool tree, okay? So bright, like the colors in it. And so I had to get a picture of it, but I've already got one on my LCA. It's way cooler in person, I assure you.